quote the immortal words of Forrest Gump, I want to thank Chairman Good for inviting and letting me crash his Black Panther party because <laughs> I'm, I'm the sole member up here who is not a, uh, a member of the Freedom Caucus, but I stand with them today on this very important issue. Um, when I first took office and this border issue was, was already an issue, I can remember we started talking then and I said, you know, no border, no budget. That's how important it is. That's how important it is to the American people. We talk about having the majority and what that means. I don't care. If we lose our country, it's not worth it. It is absolutely not worth it. And I, I talk about my folks all the time, but I always think about the sacrifices they made. And I remember my daddy talking about an island that they hit, and he was really afraid. He had a bad feeling, but he, he knew he had to do the right thing, and he did the right thing and he was victorious. And if we do not do the right thing in this occasion, we will lose our country. You are seeing the beginning of the end for the United States of America. And I stand with these wonderful men and women on this day, and I, I, I stand with pride because they are doing, Dad Gummit, they're doing the right thing, and this is the right thing. We've got to make a stand. We've got to take our country back. Dad Gummit, if you don't like the people in office, vote their asses out. I don't care if you play golf with them. I don't care if you go to church with them. Get them out of here. They are ruining your country. Don't let them come home and throw you the red meat and say, oh, I'm voting against this. I'm voting against that. That's a bunch of garbage. They are selling your country out for the Uniparty, for these national chambers of commerce that wreck every Dad Gum thing. Look, they want somebody on your roof that doesn't speak the language that is not from this country, that is not here legally. Because you know what happens when they fall off? They kick their ass out, they throw them to the curb, they're in the emergency room, you and I are paying for their health care, and they don't give a damn about them one bit. And that's what these National Chambers of Commerce, that's what the Uniparty is. Write that in your dadgum newspapers. We've got to take our country back. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.